And how great is our God. Oh, sing with me how great is our God. And all will see how great, how great is our God. Sing it.
thank you today for your goodness, for your mercy. Thank you for your love, for loving us when we were quite unlovable people. Thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you. Like you do, and I could search. 
King David said, Behold how good and pleasant it is when brothers live together in unity. Hey everyone. You know, last week I, I sent out a uh, Facebook post. Just thought it would be good to talk about some positive things, to focus on uh, what's good uh, about your life. And uh, in the middle of all that you've been going through, to just uh, take your eyes off your situation and uh, look at what's still good. I was so encouraged by all of your comments. I, I just want to read uh, a couple of them to you. And I, I know it'll bring a smile to your face, too. Um, here's just a few of these. Good health for me and my family. Uh, feeling joy in this situation is a blessing from above. Only God could could, could put peace when we f face an uncertain future. Um, I'm still alive and I have a job that gives me an income. Praise God. Uh, one, somebody said, I'm sleeping in. Okay, good. I'm healthy. Here's another one. I still have a job. Uh, thank you for the sunshine, Lord. Um, anyway, it's just, though my income has been affected, God has given everything I need. I'm happy. We have enough food at home. And above all, we're safe and free from COVID-19. What else could I ask for than to magnify the name of the Lord? Amen. Uh, my family is safe and, and blessed in God's protection for me and my loved ones. I'm a nurse and I'm still working to care for others. God bless you, Rennie. We appreciate you. Um, I'm thankful God has given me another day that I'm that I'm still well. There's, I'm thankful there's internet so I can be able to communicate with my loved ones. I'm thankful for that too, because here we are, been able to connect. And anyway, I could go on and on. Uh, there are thousands and they all blessed me. So thank you for those. Uh, I'll uh, close with this one. Carmen says, I woke up and my two healthy legs allowed me to have a great day. <laughs> anyway, I want to thank you for these uh uh, these positive words in the middle of, I know you're, you're going through tough situations, but um, to be able to take your eyes off your situation and focus on the Lord. Lord, we just choose to do that today. You've been so good to us. And in spite of what we are going through, 
we choose to give you praise. We choose to give you thanks and declare your goodness. Even though our situation may not look all that good right now, we declare, God, you are good and your mercy endures forever. Amen. Where would I be if you had not been by my side? How could I rise to meet the morning of the day? Your tender mercies always calling from behind. At times I could not see you even though you were close by. And Lord, you are good. You are good and your mercy forever endures Oh Lord you are good You are good and your mercy forever endures Where would I be if you had not been by my side How could I rise to meet the morning of the day Your tender mercies Always calling from behind At times I could not see you Even though you were close by And Lord, you are good Yes, you are You are good And your mercy forever endures kindness Help me to see you as you are Help me to see your loving kindness Help me to see you as you are As you really, really are Where would I be if you had not been by my side How could I rise to meet The morning of each day Your tender mercies Always calling from behind At times I could not see you Even though you were close by you. He never sleeps. Take one. Just remember the Lord will hear and be 
Bible says to cast all of your cares on Him because He cares for you. My friend, it's more than a promise. It's a command. So be at rest because while we're worshiping, guess what? God is working in ways that you cannot see. He never sleeps. He never sleeps.
hear our song as it rises to heaven. May your glory fill the earth as the waters cover the sea. See our heart and remove. Psalm 24, lift up your heads, O you gates, and be lifted up, you everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. How many want the King of glory to come in here tonight? Amen. Amen. Lift up your head.
come and inhabit the praises of your people. The King of Kings, Lord of Lords. Sing it. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. Open up your hearts. Open up your hearts. His victory over sin. King of kings, take his rightful place, make room, make way, for our King of grace, who is this King?
to Him, He will answer us. If we run to Him, He will run to us. If we lift our hands, He will lift us up. Come now, praise His name, all you saints of God. Draw near, draw near to Him. He is here with us. Give Him your love. He's in love with us. He will heal our hearts, He will cleanse our hands. If we rend our hearts, He will heal our lands. Yes, He will. Oh, sing, sing for joy to God our strength. Oh, sing, sing for joy to God our strength.
can I give? What can I bring that would be pleasing to my king? Well, I'll give my heart, not just a part. I'm lifting up my everything. Well, it's all I have to offer, and it's all I have to give. in his hands Who made the stars by the word of his power Who put the spirit in man And causes all the earth to cry out glory Glory to the Lord Worship him the God of our salvation Glory to the Lord Righteous by the hand Who 
is the way in this marvelous hour Who stirs the heart of a man And causes all his saints to cry out Glory! Glory to the Lord Worship Him The God of our salvation Glory to the Lord Honor Him He reigns He rules the nation He is righteous and worthy yes, he is. To be worshipped and adored Lift your voices and give Glory to the Lord give you glory for you're the only one who is worthy to be praised and adored tonight hallelujah we worship you Lord we worship you Lord hallelujah hallelujah as we worship you let all the world come and how the mercy we've received from you can set them free. And as we worship you, let all this joy that fills our hearts bring a hunger and a hope to those who stray so far. As we bow in adoration and stand in reverent awe, Show your majesty and glory, let your anointing fall. As we declare your name, Lord Jesus, as the only name who saves. May the power of your salvation fill each heart, we pray. As we worship you, let all nations hear our song, the song of Jesus and his blood that proved his love for all. As we worship you, may all the lost and broken come, may they hear your still small voice call out their names each one. As we bow in adoration, and stand in reverent awe. Show your majesty and glory, the 
let your anointing fall as we declare your name, Lord Jesus, as the only name who saves. May the power of your salvation fill each heart we pray. The mercy we've received from you can set them free. And as we worship you, let all this joy that fills our hearts bring a hunger and a hope to those who stray so far. As we bow in adoration and stand in and glory that your anointing fall we declare your name Lord Jesus as the only name who saves may the power of your salvation fill each heart we pray as we worship As we worship you, as we worship you, we lift our hands and we worship you, Lord. As we worship you, sweet Lord, as we worship you. As we worship you, oh, we welcome you here. As we worship you, oh, yes, we're the King of Kings. As we worship you, as we bow, as we bow in adoration and stand in reverence. Majesty and glory, let your anointing fall right now. As we declare your name, Lord Jesus, as the only name who saves. May the power of your salvation fill each heart we pray.
So you're here with us right now. We thank you. We thank you. For your presence, we pray. us, Lord. Have you not known, have you not heard, the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, neither faints nor is weary. There is no searching of his understanding. He gives power to the weak and to those who have no might, he increases strength. Even the youths shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Teach us, Lord, to wait. Trust in Him with all my heart. 
Have you not heard? It's been told from the beginning. The Lord your God is on your side. Oh, my soul, don't be afraid. Hope in the Lord by His righteousness and power. He will strengthen, He will guide. And I will soar. Patiently I'll wait I will soar on wings like eagles And by the hand of God I will run And not grow tired With honest name Upon his promise, patiently I'll wait. I wait. We wait for you, Lord. We wait. Hallelujah. Wait for you, Lord. We wait for you, Lord. We ask you to forgive us for being in a hurry with our lives. We all lead such busy, busy lives. Forgive us for not giving you time. Because we know that our strength comes from waiting on you. So right now we take this moment to wait. and receive your strength. We're not in a hurry, God. We yearn for you, Lord. 
Let your glory fill this place tonight. You inhabit the praises of your people, so here we are tonight. We love you. We worship you. We honor you, God. You alone are worthy. You alone are worthy, God. Though the fig tree may not blossom, nor fruit be on the vines, though the labor of the olive may fail, and the fields yield no food, though the flock be cut off from the fold, and there be no herd in the stalls, yet I will rejoice. And I will joy in the God of my salvation. Lord, we determine tonight, with all that's in us, that we are going to bless your name. In spite of every circumstance we are facing, we choose. We choose to bless you. Thank you. Praise you.
Lord, you seem so far away, a million miles or more, it feels today. And though I haven't lost my faith, I must confess right now that it's hard for me to pray. But as you give the grace With all that's in my heart I will sing, yes I will pray Even in my darkest hour Through the sorrow and the pain I will sing Your word is true, I will sing. Lord, it's hard for me to see all the thoughts and plans you have for me. Yes, it is. But I will put my trust in you, knowing that you died. Set me free. Oh, thank God you did. But I don't know what to say. And I don't know where to start. But as you give the grace, with all that's in my heart, I will see. Those of you who have lost your desire to sing, I'm asking God to put that melody back in your heart tonight. Cause you to lift your voice and sing to Him. Even though you don't understand, praise Him tonight. You're good. And you're good all the time.
by my side How could I rise to meet the morning of the day Your tender mercy always calling from behind At times I could not see you even though you were close by And Lord you are good You are good and your mercy
to worship and we have come to pray. Lord, we come to listen and hear what you would say. Lord, our hearts are longing to meet with you today. For we have come to see far away Look down in tender mercy Forgive our sins we pray Oh Lord we need revival All across this land Yes we do Come move among your people With your mighty hand Lord of Lords, you are worthy of blessing and power, all riches and wisdom, all glory and honor and praise to the Lamb that was slain.
Bless your name, Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah.
couple days ago, I sent out um, a Facebook post, um, what's your favorite Bible verse and why? (laughs) You know, well, today, as of today, two days ago, 10,000 comments, 10,000. And I guess the thing that hit me, first of all, I'm so proud of you. I'm I'm just proud of you for pressing into, uh, into the Lord during times like this. And uh, I'm going to read a couple of them to you. Because, you know, there's, there are so many conflicting reports today. Uh, you listen to the news, you read this, you read that. You don't know what to believe. I'll tell you what you can believe. This. You can believe God's Word because uh, it is the truth and it will stand forever. So when you start getting confused and, and, and fearful, all the things you're hearing, go back to the Word of God, just like you did on all these 10,000 comments. <laughs> Excuse me. Here's a couple. Uh, John 4, 24. Uh, these, God is spirit. His worshipers must worship in spirit and in truth. Psalm 91. Uh, uh, Sabina said this. Uh, he who dwells in the secret place of the Most High God shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. This psalm makes me feel safe in God, and it should. Psalm 91 is is one you should be reading every day. Uh, Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Uh, This verse says it all. When we set our eyes only on him, no matter our circumstances, we always win. Um, Amen to that. Uh, Psalm 46, uh, God is my refuge and strength, the very present help in time of trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth should change. And I am relieved whenever I pray this psalm. Psalm 46, an excellent verse. Um, here's uh, Ibn Ez writes this, I was in a horrible car accident and I couldn't 
think or remember anything, but I, the moment I woke up, all I did was speak out Joshua 1, 9. It's all I could remember. And I said it over and over and over again until I was cut out of the car. And after that, I went into shock. But I woke up in the hospital, and again, Joshua 1, 9 was in my heart and my spirit. Joshua 1, 9 says, Have I not commanded you? Be strong and of good courage. Do not be afraid or dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. And I, these go on and on and on. Uh, a couple more. Isaiah 43, verse 2. When you pass through the waters, I will be with thee. When you through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. When thou walk through the fire, thou shalt not be burned, neither shall the flames consume you. That's from Ruth. Um, and several of you commented on Jeremiah twenty nine eleven. Uh, for I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord, uh, plans for a future and a hope. And, uh, and he has a future and a hope uh, for every one of us. So thank you for your encouraging uh, words, your comments. Uh, again, I'm, I'm, just, I'm so proud of uh, my friends for turning to the Word of God in times like this. So Lord, we thank you. We put our trust in your Word today. Whom have I in heaven but you? There is nothing on earth I desire besides you. My heart and my flesh, many times they fail. But there is one truth that always will prevail. God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Whom have I in heaven but you? There is nothing on earth I desire besides you. My heart and my strength, many times they fail. But there is one truth that always will prevail. God is the strength of my heart. God is the strength of my heart. God is the strength of my heart in my portion forever, forever. Whom have I in heaven but you? Mm -hmm. There is nothing on earth I desire besides you. My heart and my strength, many times they fail. But there is one truth that always will prevail. God is the strength of my heart. God is the strength of my heart. God is the strength. Of my heart in my portion forever. Oh, God is the strength. Yes, He is. Of my heart. God is the strength. Of my heart. God is the strength. Of my heart in my portion forever. Forever.
Great is thy faithfulness, O God, my Father. There is no shadow of turning with thee. Thou changest not thy compassions, they fail not. As thou hast been, thou forever. Summer and winter, springtime and harvest, sun, moon, and stars in their courses above. Join with all nature in manifold witness to thy great faithfulness, mercy. Hi, friends. You know, God really has our attention these days as we're going through this pandemic. I was reading from uh, Second Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14. It says, If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray, seek my face, turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven, forgive their sins, and heal their land. And that's what we need today. We need God to come and heal our land. And there are conditions for that. We humble ourselves and pray. We seek his face. We turn from our wicked ways. Then he will come, forgive our sins, and heal our land. <clears throat> I was reading from Malachi chapter uh, 3, verse 7. It says, From the days of your fathers you have turned aside from my statutes and have not kept them. 
Return to me, and I will return to you, says the Lord of hosts. And in uh, Jeremiah uh, chapter 24, verse 7, it says, the Lord says, I will give you a heart to know me. I will be your God. And these are the conditions. If we'll return to him, he will return to us. And this pandemic has, has got all of our attention. And I think God is calling us to return to him, to ask him uh, to forgive our sins and heal our land. And that's the promise. If we return to him, he will return to us. And that's my prayer today for you, for me, for all of us. And as I read that the other day, I just got up from my chair. Um, uh, I just read, return to me and I will return to you. And I started saying it, return to me and I will return to you. I'll give you a heart to know me. Anyway, and uh, so I just uh, sketched out a new song I'd love to share with you. Uh, it's called Return to Me. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray. Seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. I will hear from heaven, forgive their sins and heal their land. If my people will humble themselves and pray return to me and I will return to you you will be my people and I will be your God return to me and I will return to you I'll give you a heart to know me and I will be your God If my people will humble themselves and pray As your people we have turned and walked away Yes, we have From the truth, from the light, from the We humble our hearts today Will you hear from heaven Forgive our sins and heal our land As your people We humble our hearts and pray Return to me And I will return to you be my people and I will be your God return to me and I will return to you I'll give you a heart to know me and I will be your God if my people will humble themselves and pray we cry out to you, we cry out to you, Lord, have mercy on your people. We humble ourselves and pray, and turn from our wicked ways, Lord, have mercy on our nation. Of our sins, revive our hearts again. We return to you, we return to you, we return to you. We 
We return to you. Yes. We return to you. We return to you. You said, return to me, and I will return to you. You will be my people, and I will be your God. Return to me, and I will return to you. I'll give you a heart to know me. I'll give you a heart to know me. I'll give you a heart to know me, and I will be your God. If my people will humble themselves and pray, if my people will humble themselves and pray, if my people. Humble themselves and pray, and pray, and pray. Just lift your voice right where you are. Cry out to the Lord for your nation. Come and heal our land, Lord. We cry out to you, Lord. We cry out to you, Lord. Born. 
born all for me. Lest I forget Gethsemane, lest I forget thine agony, lest I forget thy love for me, lead me to Calvary.
captured my heart. Mi corazón. Lord, I give you my whole heart. Mi corazón. Well, I will give you glory. Tell the wondrous story. You 
have called me by your name and filled me with your love. You have covered me with mercy and with grace and have showered me with blessings from above. And yet Hear you calling me to a place where I have never been before, where your love is flowing deeper than the sea. I just want to know. want to know One day I'll see your face And I'll look into your eyes And through all eternity I'll sing your praise And forevermore fulfill my heart's desire I just want to know want to know It's your home. 
Exodus 15, verse 26, he says, I am the God that healeth thee. In Psalm 107, verse 20, he sent his word and healed us. The Bible says his word will not return void, but it will accomplish the purpose for which it is sent. <laughs> God's word in the name of Jesus is more powerful than cancer, heart disease, or any disease that you can name today. So let's put his word on our lips and let his healing come to us as we sing it to him. You are the God that healeth me. Let his healing come as we sing it. Sing. You are the God that healeth me. You are the sent your word and you healed my disease you are the Lord my healer sing it you are the God you are the God that healeth me you are the Lord my healer you sent your word 
and you healed my disease. You are the Lord, my healer. You sent your word, and you healed my disease. You are the Lord, my healer.
to trust you
me today I know you can Lord I surrender to your plan you made this heart and you made these hands take me and use me as I am well it's all It's all I have to give Two hands and one heart One life to offer you Two hands and one heart That's what
Save me and I will be saved Heal me, O Lord, and I will be healed For you are the one I praise You are the one I praise Sing it with me Heal me, O Lord, and I will be healed. Save me, and I will be saved. Oh, heal me, O Lord, and I will be healed. For you are the one I praise. You are the one I praise. Jeremiah 17, 14 says, Heal me, O Lord, and I will be healed. Save me, and I will be saved. For you are my praise. Nobody would doubt if Jesus touched you at this moment that you would be healed. You know, the same power is inherent in God's Word. When His Word touches you, it brings healing. His Word will not return void, but it will accomplish the purpose for which it's sent. He sent His Word and healed us. Let's sing it back to Him and let His healing come as we sing it. Heal me, Lord. Heal me, O Lord, and I will be healed. Save me, and I will be saved. Oh, heal me, O Lord, and I will be healed. For you are the one I praise. You are the one I praise.
living. The table is set with mercy and grace. So I come with a hungry heart, just as I. Hiding place. Take one.
everything else is shaking, Lord. My hiding place, my strong tower, refuge, my hiding place. Hey, friends, uh, I want to uh, remind you to, to uh, remain in God's Word during these days uh, when uh, you, you find yourself having fearful thoughts, uh, listening to too, too much news, or uh, hearing strange reports. Uh, just go back to the Word. Uh, get your mind fixed on God's Word because the Word of God is going to stand forever. While everything is being shaken, God's word will remain. I've got uh, just, I just write down a bunch of scriptures here that I try to review every day. Keep my head right there. Um, Philippians 4, 6 and 7. Uh, Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God and the peace of God which passes all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Um, 1 Peter 5, 7, cast all your care upon him because he cares for you. Um, Psalm 46, verse 10, be still and know that I am God. Uh, Isaiah 43, 1, in fact, Isaiah 43, verses 1, 2, 3, and 4, I mean, just, uh, it says, don't be afraid. I've called you by name. You are mine. When you go through the deep waters, they will not overwhelm you. When you go through the fire of oppression, you will not be burned up. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. Um, Anyway, they're just... Psalm 91, because you have made the Lord who is my refuge, even the Most High, your dwelling place, no evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling. And I disclaim that for you today. Father, we come before you. We thank you for the power of your word. And we say, be it unto me according to your word. According to your promises, Lord, we can stand secure. So we choose to put our faith and our trust in you and in your word today. In the name of Jesus. Oh, be it unto me According to your word, according to your promises, I can stand secure. Carve upon my heart the truth that sets me free. According to your word, O oh Lord, be it unto me. You promised your blood will deliver. Lord, we believe it's true. You've promised us joy like a river. Lord, we receive it from you. These things you have spoken And you're bringing to past This world's disappearing But your word will last So be it unto me According to your word According to your promises I can stand secure Carve upon my heart truth that sets me free according to your word O Lord be it unto me you promise to carry our sorrows 
Lord, we believe it's true. You've promised unending tomorrows. Lord, we receive them from you. You will be our provider. In your word it's revealed. And by the stripes that you bore, Lord, we have been healed. So be it unto To your promises, I can stand secure. Carve upon my heart the truth that sets me free. According to your word, O oh Lord, be it unto me. According to your word, O oh Lord. Be it unto me. Amen.